All right, I'm back on the Erlang.org website. I'm going to go to download Erlang, and we're going to start with a Mac first for installation. So here you can see Homebrew, Brew Install Erlang. And I'm going to go out to my Mac terminal now, and we're going to look at how that's done. All right, so this is terminal for the Mac. And if you haven't used this before, you can bring up the spotlight and just type in terminal. And that will open up the terminal. To install Erlang, you could do brew install Erlang. Now I've already installed it, so I don't want to go ahead and install it again. But what's gonna happen is it's gonna do a lot of downloading and then it's gonna finish. And once it does, you can type in Erl that will bring up the Erlang shell, which you can see here. And so I can do something like one plus one, or one plus two, period, and that's gonna give me the result. So the result right there, again, this is functional programming, so there's, there's not a reason to assign this into a variable and then print the result of the variable. You can just do it right in here, and the result is printed out. Now we're gonna look at the Windows installation. So in Windows, I'm going to open up Explorer and just go to Erlang.org. Okay, so here we are. And we can go to Download Erlang. And then we have Windows Binaries. I'm on a 64-bit operating system, so I can, I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And if you're not sure, you can click Start, then go to Computer. Actually, I want to right-click on Computer. Go to Properties, and here you can see 64-bit operating system. And so I'll download that version of the binary. Save as. I'm just going to save to the desktop. And let that download. So that'll take a little bit of time, and I'll come back once this download has finished. Okay, so the download has completed, and I am just going to go ahead with the installation. See if I can run it. Run anyway. Next, next, install. So as usual between Windows and Mac, um, a lot of the things to install are done through the command line in Terminal and Mac, but with Windows, you have to go through the installations of these programs. All right, so close that, and we have Erlang right here. Go ahead and click that, and there's the shell. This is basically the equivalent of what we saw earlier in the Mac. So if I do a one plus two dot, we get our three. And then over here, go to all programs, we have Erlang right there. And the only thing in there really is this documentation link and then the Erlang shell. So that is how you can run this on a Windows machine as well.